Hello and welcome back. Today I will show you the changes that I've made to my watercolor palette and I will give away my very first palette, which was a set of 24 paints of St. Petersburg's White Knights. For years I've used this palette. The full size pens are St. Petersburg White Knights from a set of 24 paints that I bought when I was a university student. Back then, these paints were sold as the budget watercolor paints in one very common art and craft supply store in Germany. And over the years, I bought some Schmincke Horodam pens. Those are the half size pens that you can see here. And I bought a very large metal tin for them, but they still wouldn't all fit inside. So I had to take out the metal tray and attach all of my paints to the bottom of the tin using magnets. For a variety of reasons, I feel that I've outgrown this set and that it no longer really suits my needs. Half of this comes down to the original set of White Knights that I bought, and half of it comes down to mistakes that I made when I added some paints later on. Over the years, I bought some Schminke Horodam paints whenever I watched a YouTube video and I thought that the color looks particularly cool, but I didn't realize until they arrived that some of them looked really similar to paints that I already had. For example, the Meta Lake looks really similar to the Alizarin Crimson, and Schminke's Burnt Sienna looks very similar to White Knight's Red Ochre. Even worse, I bought both Phalo Sapphire Blue and Phalo Blue from Schminke, only to see later that they look identical to White Knight's Blue. In order to fix my palette, I decided to take out all of the White Knights and I will give them away to someone who wants to start on their own watercolor journey. It can be quite expensive getting into this hobby, so I hope this giveaway can help one of you. I bought some Holbein paint in tubes which will replace some of the White Knights. First, I'm going to review my White Knights set. Back when I bought it, I hadn't really painted with watercolors before outside of school, and I didn't really know what kind of paints I would like or need. White Knights offers the set in two versions, one in a metal tin and one in a cardboard box. I bought the cardboard one, but I really cannot recommend it. White Knights uses honey as their binder and these colors get very sticky. So when I try to take my paints out, they would stick to the bottom side of the cardboard cover and some of the paints would get stuck on it, which always felt like an avoidable loss of paint. The cardboard set retailed for about 50 or 60 euros, I believe. And White Knights is very generous with the amount of paint that you get. You get full pens instead of half pens. All of these paints are very vibrant, except for two that almost seem to be broken. But I realized that the color selection doesn't quite work for me. Let's take a close look at the colors included in the set. You get one cool and one warm yellow, which is very standard for most sets. But you also get two oranges, and for some reason, I rarely used either one. We get three reds. The warm one is cadmium red light, and we also get carmine and meta lake. I really like cadmium red light, but I fear that the set could need a darker warm red in addition to this one because the cadmium red light leans very much towards orange. The set also includes a lot of earth tones. The yellow ochre is very fine and I like it, but I had great problems with the raw sienna and amber. No matter what I try, I cannot seem to get a very rich dark color for these. It is almost as if they are resisting the water somehow, which makes me think they might be broken. But there are so many other earth tones that I was fine without them. You also get English red, burnt amber, mass brown and sepia. There is also neutral black and a violet. But for some reason, I don't particularly like this violet. Now for the blues, you get 
indigo, blue, ultramarine, and cobalt blue. I think there's not a huge difference between the blue, the ultramarine, and the cobalt blue, but the indigo is really lovely, and it's my favorite color out of all of them. I also bought a cerulean blue separately, but unfortunately, I'm also having some problems with it. When I mix it with other paints, the paints seem to separate later on. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I will include it for the giveaway as a 25th color. Last but not least, we've got the greens. This set includes emerald green, yellowish green and green. And this is another part where I think the color selection is a bit weak in this set. Two out of three of these greens look unnatural to me, so I think I would not use these for a landscape painting. That being said, I think it's still a good set for beginners in particular. And if you are fine with the shortcomings that I've mentioned, then please feel free to enter the giveaway if you are located within Europe. There are three paints that I use the most, which are cadmium red light, yellow ochre and indigo. And I took those out, put them into my nude palette to use them up and I bought new full-size pans for you from White Nights. Here is my new palette. I bought one that includes little plastic cups so I could pour my Holbein tubes into them. I've also swatched all of my colors on a sheet of Hahnemühle's Harmony paper. This is their hot pressed surface, which means that it has very little texture and the colors look very vibrant on this paper to me. I attached all of the swatch sheets to the top of the lid using magnets. This is an idea I saw on Etsy. I will lose out on the mixing space in the lid, but it gives me greater flexibility in case I will rearrange these paints or in case I buy more paints later on. It looks as if I no longer have any doubles or triples in my set. The John Brilliant number no. 1 from Holbein and the Naples Yellow from Schminke look a little similar, but the Naples Yellow is definitely more yellow. Also, the Davies Grey from Holbein and the Perlin Green from Schminke look a little similar, but the Davies Grey is more opaque and a little bit brighter. I know some professional artists don't like Holbein because they use multiple pigments. Some of them are very opaque and the paints don't flow as much when you use them with water as with other watercolor brands. But I actually like that they don't flow as much and they have a very nice variety and many convenience colors, which I would find tricky to mix by myself, such as the John Brilliant Number no. 1 and 2 and the Shell Pink. I still have some space left over to buy new paints if I want to and I'm very excited to paint with my new set now. But I hope my White Knight set can still come in handy for one of you. In other news, I've started to upload some of my photos to Unsplash. That's a website I also often use for painting reference images and you don't need to worry about violating someone's copyright or something if you use the images from there. They're all free for creative projects. I've uploaded vacation photos that don't include other people. So if you need something for landscapes or urban scenes, you can check it out. If you need something from a different angle, then just contact me, please, because I have a lot of photos of people in them that I could not upload for that reason. But I might have more that I can share with you privately. Here's my first speed painting using my new paints. Thanks for watching and see you next time.